In this video, we're going to talk about how to use conditional formatting to highlight certain cells over others. So for example, let's say if we want to highlight apples, what we can do is select this list and then go to the Home tab. And here you'll see conditional formatting. So you can press that. And there's a lot of things you can do. You can choose, uh, well, we can't really use data bars or color scales. We could do that with numbers, but if you go to highlight cell rules, let's see, and then text that contains, if you go to that option, this uh, box will open. And instead of using a light red fill, I'm going to go to custom format. And let's choose red for apples. So anywhere we see an apple, we're going to fill the background color with, I mean, we're going to fill the background with a red color. And so that's how you could use conditional formatting to highlight certain cells. So let's say if we want to highlight oranges in this list. So notice that I clicked this cell first, and then I extended the range. So if we go back to Home, Conditional Formatting, and then Highlight Cell Rules, text that contains, in this case, the word oranges. So I'm going to go to Custom Format, and let's pick this color. And so every cell that has the word oranges will be highlighted with that color. Now let's do the same thing for the word mangoes. So I'm going to start by highlighting cell B5 and then extend it to the rest of the list. And so let's follow the same procedure. So let's go to highlight cell rules and then text that contains the word mangoes. And let's give it, in this case, let's undo that. Let's go to custom formatting and let's give it a green color this time. And so we could highlight the word mangoes everywhere we see it. And so that's how you could use uh, conditional formatting with words. Now, what about with numbers? There's a lot that we can do here. So let's go to conditional formatting. One of the first things that we can do is we can put data bars and we could adjust the color. It can be a green data bar, a blue one with a gradient fill or with a solid fill. And so you have a lot of different options that you can choose from. Now, if you need to remove it, you can simply click the undo button, or you can just go to conditional formatting and then just clear the rules from the selected cells. So that's another way in which you could remove the formatting uh, if you ever need to. Another quick and simple way to access the conditional formats and features is by clicking this button at the bottom once you highlighted a certain column. So once you click that button, so you have the formatting section, you can choose data bars, color scale, icon set, and a lot of stuff. So that's something that you can uh, do as well. But let's go to color scales. So I'm going to click on more rules and I'm going to choose the three color scale option. So in this case, the lowest value, I want it to be symbolized by a red color. The values in the middle will be symbolized by a yellow color. And the values with the, the numbers with the highest values will be symbolized by a green color. So looking at this 225, it's green, it's the highest one here. 15 is very low, it's, it's very red. 40 is kind of red, kind of on a yellow side, but it's between red and yellow. And you can see the middle numbers like 75, 84, they have a more yellowish color. And so you can color code the cells based on the values that they contain using the three color scale option. Now let's go ahead and add something else. So in addition to the color scales, Let's add an icon set. And so we have a lot of things we could choose from. 
first, I need to select the entire column instead of just one cell. So let's go back to icon sets. So I can choose a three directional uh, option or a five directional option. Let's look at the five directional option. So notice that the numbers with an up arrow have the highest values. The ones with a down arrow have a low, the lowest values. And the ones that point towards the right, they're in the middle. And if they point towards like the bottom but to the right, they're not too low but somewhat low. And that's basically it for this one. Now, let's highlight this. And this time, I don't want to clear away all of the formatting, just some of it. In this case, what you want to do is go to Manage Rules. And so you could select which rule you wish to delete. So I'm going to delete the graded color scale. Because if I want to de delete the icon set, all I need to do is click the Undo button, and it's going to go away. But I want to get rid of the one that I had before, the graded color cell. So if I click Delete Rule, the graded color scale is going to disappear. And so that's how you can selectively remove formatting, conditional formatting, in a column of data. Now let's see what else we can do. So let's go to Home, Conditional Formatting, and let's choose a different icon set. So another one that I like is the data bars. If you click that, the data bars can give you an idea of how the numbers rank with the other ones. So 225 is the highest. You can see that all four bars are filled. 15 is the lowest, and none are filled. 126 is like in the middle, so you have two bars filled. And so that's another way in which you could visually represent a number. So now let's choose a different icon set. So you can use shapes, circles. You could use circles, triangles, and uh, triangles. Triangles, that's what I meant to say. You could use indicators. Check means it's a high number. X means it's a low number. You could use ratings with stars. So there's a lot of things that you can uh, do to uh, uh, visually represent these numbers. So I'm going to go back to data bars. And in addition to the stars, I'm going to add a gradient fill. Now, you can also do some other things as well. So let me clear away the formatting first. So I'm going to clear rules from just the selected cells. So let's go to Highlight Cell Rules. And this time, let's select bet Between. Now we can format cells that are between two numbers. So let's say we want two numbers between 100 and 190. Actually, let's say 200. And I like to choose the custom format. I mean, you could choose a red border, red text, a light red fill, a yellow fill. But I like to go to custom format. And I'm going to give these numbers a blue color. Now, and then click OK. Let's do something for the other ones. So I'm going to go back to Highlight Cell Rules, and this time I'm going to focus on the numbers that are less than 100. And so I'm going to give it a different color. So let's give it, let's say, a red color. And so all the numbers that are less than 100 will be red. And for the numbers greater than, let's say, 200, let's give that a different color. So let's go to greater than, and let's change it to 200. And let's see, what color should we select this time? So let's select green for numbers that are above 200. And so that's how you could use conditional formatting to highlight certain cells based on their numerical value.